What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are back with some more Escape from Tarkov, and you guys asked for it, we're gonna do my favorite M4 build. Now, no, no, this isn't the best M4 you can build, stat-wise. Um, you can chuck on a bunch of parts to get it to perfect stats, but at the same time, I, uh, the way it looks and the stats are balanced. You don't want to make it ugly, you don't want to make it, you know, you want it pretty but functional. You know what I mean? Pretty but functional. Um, but there are different ways to do things um, with it. But the first thing is we're gonna start with the base, the base of the AR. And I like to throw this MR, M MUR and a Vesky on here because it's a plus six, er, plus six ergonomics and the base one is a plus five. So you get that one extra point of ergonomics. Some people don't think it's worth it. I, I do because this one has a cool look to it. So we're gonna throw the upper on there. I like to use the 260 millimeter barrel. I like mine as a short barrel. So we're going to chuck that on there. And then from there, um, there's two ways you can really look at this. The A2 buffer buffer is minus six recoil while the MOE is minus five. So you have a one point variation. Well, the PRS right here is the, currently the best M4 stock. It only comes in one color though, FGE with a minus 43 recoil and a plus six ergonomics. And you're probably like, damn devil, that's actually really good. Well, you, you're gonna, this is, this is where things get kind of weird, right? You can, well, like I said, you can go either way. So the MOE stock is 37. You add the rubber butt pad on it with a plus seven ergonomics. So you already got the, the Magpul PRS beaten by one with ergonomics, but you're totally smashing the MOE with um, recoil over here with the PRS. But if you throw on the butt pad, you get an, another plus one ergonomics and a minus three recoil. So you're, you're looking at, I mean, the PRS is still better recoil wise, but only by a little bit, but you're still getting a massive boost in ergonomics. And what ergonomics is good for is how fast you aim down your sights. So that is a good stat. You don't want to totally trash it, but at the same time, you don't want to just completely ignore ergonomics and just go everything street recoil and make an, an ugly Franken gun, like the big black gun with the fucking FDE um, buttstock. So I like to use the PRS in a certain setup, and we'll cover that. We'll switch the buttstocks around a little bit. But you got, you also got the UBR, which sits at negative 38 and plus the ergonomics. It's not my favorite, but sometimes I run it from here and there. Okay, so now you have two choices. I like. I like I like these handguards. They they are the War Sport handguards are fucking amazing. Now, they're both plus ten ergonomics, so you're not missing in there. The only thing is one's longer and one's shorter. I personally like to use the C variant because it is longer, and I'll show you why. Because when we open it up and we throw in a suppressor, which we're gonna do now. Oh, there we go. I like to use the hybrid. It kind of covers it more, so you're you're covering more of the suppressor. You see what I mean? So it has that kind of like that really cool look to it. All right. Of course, we always use the Grawl because the Grawl has good stats, which I gotta find it now. Rips. There we go. Plus 15 ergonomics, so it, it's really worth it. In all honesty, I really enjoy it. And then we're gonna put the uh, the shift grip on it because the shift grip is amazing. At thir plus 13 ergonomics, 1.5 recoil. I mean, this thing—it's my favorite. It's my favorite grip. In all honesty. All right, so here's where things kind of get tricky. Let's throw that on there. So you can effectively throw an A2 buffer on there and the PRS. And you can see your, where your recoil is with that, where you can pull it off and do that with the MOE. I like the look on the MOE compared to the PRS, but you can see how the, the variation of recoil, it's not much. It isn't much at all. You're not getting much of a variation here. So you kinda, you can go either way with it. But what I like to do is I like to run the ACOG from time to time. Now when I roll the ACOG, of course you're going to be missing that base plate, aren't you? 
Yep. All right, let's go buy that. When I roll the ACOG, I like to roll the P the, the PRS with it, just because that ACOG is there for, you know, it's there for medium to long range engagements. So when I'm doing medium to long range engagements, you know, I kind of want that extra recoil reduction because you're, that you're basically, it really helps with those medium to long range engagements. So throw the ACOG on there, boom, there you go. You got yourself a nice little DMR rifle. Um, some people put the RSAS handguard on there. The stats aren't as good as the War Sport. So just keep the War Sport on there. It's really pointless to just switch them out, even though you can get that cool look to it. If you like doing that, go for it. Um, but for up close and personal, there's only really one option for me. And that is the, oh, of course it's, I didn't take it with it. Let me fix this real quick. There we go. I like to use the UH-1. So if I'm doing anything close quarters, I run a UH-1 with an MOE. The look of it is just awesome. And on top of that, the one thing I really, really, really do enjoy about having the MOE is I can throw a peck box, or the UH-1, I can throw a peck box on top of it and it doesn't obscure my sight picture. So I can run a peck box on top. And I think that's really awesome. All right, so we're gonna take it in, take it in this raid. Um, of course, if you're, any ammo, any ammo you should be using is M995. You get it from Max Level Peacekeeper. You need to get it right off the bat. Um, it, it always comes to the hollow points better. Hollow point doesn't do jack shit to fort. You can take hollow point out, but if you're gonna be shooting center mass and you run across a guy who's running fort, you're kind of dicked at that point. You're, you're pretty dicked. So always run M995. Even on unarmed targets, there's there's no difference whatsoever. Everything dies regardless. So, you know, I, I always suggest running M995. So we're gonna take this in the factory. I'm gonna show you a little bit about how the recoil on it works. All right, so we got it all set up. As you can see, the peck box works just fine. Doesn't obscure the sight picture whatsoever. The, the UH-1's crystal clear. Um, compared to the EOTech, so I, I really, if I'm gonna run anything red dot, it's either a T1 or a UH1, almost all the time. Uh, but I've been preferring the UH1 lately, even though it is ugly. All right, so we'll do a full auto blast. Let's do it uh, right here at the door, and I'll show you the kind of the controllability of it. I mean, you got a quick burst that goes up, and then everything else is pretty much right there. So. And the cool thing is when it does that recoil up is that you can get yourself a nice little headshot. So it'll run up and then boom, headshot. I've actually seen that happen quite a few times with this little setup that I got going on here. And of course for single shot, it's quick to run. I, I don't use single shot that much, but I might start running it some more, you know, see if I can, see if I can run it. You know, and kind of, I don't know. That'd be kind of a cool video to do. What do you guys think? We're running around single shot only? I mean, this this is a, ooh, where are we out of ammo already? This is my favorite setup because it looks cool and it runs great. You can really run it pretty damn well. Um, peck, spot, peck box is optional. You know, you really don't have to use a peck box. You can throw a flashlight. Um, you can use the X400 like I've been suggesting. And as you can see there, it's fucking cool looking. I mean, look at that. Look at how cool that shit looks. Um, you can run the X400 because the X400 has a laser light combo and it works just fine, but the peck box kind of gives it that tactical operator feeling to it, you know what I mean? But, I mean, you can really burn some damage there. I mean, if you aim center mass, you can, you can wreck some face. Last mag. Boo, last mag. Let's find something that's more man-sized at distance. Here, we'll find a door. Oh. You know what? Of course, see, it's hitting low because I didn't, you know, change much. It's not at 50 meters. You can see all the rounds easily, easily hit. Oh, no, we had some. Oh, never mind. They went through. Oh, wow. That's cool. But yeah, all the rounds hit. We had a few that jumped up on the top on that first burst, but if you aim center mass, th those go right to the head basically. So it's a good little way to, it, it's a good little for recoil control, single burst. 
um, straight to the head, and then everything else at the chest. You pretty much, if you run M995 in this and you run up to anybody for it, you'll wreck for it pretty quick. Uh, M995 is two shot kill against a fast helmet, and I think it's four or six. Four to six against four. Um, pretty much the same as the BP rounds uh, for the 545. Uh, 762. Still need some testing on that one. But um, this thing's definitely a little beast. I like it. I like running it. I think it looks cool. Um, you know, you can always run it with the ACOG. That first little burst is there. But once you get it on target, it's ready to rock and roll. But uh, if you guys like this, do you want to see some more, uh, you want me to show off some more weapons and how I like to set them up in Escape from Tarkov, definitely let me know in the comments below, um, and I will do some more up for you guys. But anyways, guys, talk to you later. Peace.